Do you, then thinking back on, on Sally and where she was, do you think that she regrets the choices that she made uh, regarding Razor or that she blames him for not only giving up boxing but giving up on her? No, I, you know, I looked at it and I'm on a, I had to take a much lighter note on this. I really looked at her like a groupie to two rock stars, mm -hmm. okay, which many rock stars have a lot of groupies. You know, little girls that chase them around, and I think that I had that little thing going on. And then I think I truly did have deep, deep feelings for Razor, very much so. But then, of course, something happens, and you get jealous and pain. You know, life is very short, so years pass by so quickly. And the pain that's never resolved, it doesn't go anywhere unless you do something to help it get resolved in, uh, and, and whatever measure you take. Um, I think she had to take those measures to get something resolved that had never been resolved. And in turn, I think she, um, I think she turned on the faucet for Sly as well to his character, Razor, to let, to let that out. Um, at the same time, they all hated each other the way we started out. Um, she gets to confront De Niro. Um, she still probably hates him a little bit. <laughs> there has to be some resolve in all this. And I think in, by the end there is. There really is. I think there's acceptance and I think there's deep true love and I think there's... That's what I love about this movie. Pete said it and I really hadn't thought about it, but he said there's only nine minutes of boxing in the movie. I mean, this is a real true heart movie from two really and not just two, but my heart, Alan Arkin, and Kevin Hart, and Magic, and Warner Brothers, so it's very cool. Yeah, speaking of Alan and Kevin, and I guess the rest of the cast too, because this is a great cast. Great cast. How was it working with all of these guys? I mean, some just amazing, and my son John, I mean, you know, just all of them, all of them, and the little boy that plays my grandson, adorable, adorable mm -hmm. people and all meant to be together, to come to this moment in time and to hook up and to get this movie made. And, um, and hope, hopefully people will love it. And it, and, it, and it will be funny, and it is funny. Because, you know, we all see, I see so much film. I've been looking for a comedy forever. I know what it takes to put a film together, but um, still, I can't help but produce some really bad comedies sometimes. I'm sorry. And I did some really, I've, I've made some bombs in my life. I've done a lot of things. But I, I came from comedy and some really fun comedy and uh, really quite fun and great filmmakers like Blake Edwards and Robert Benton and Altman and, you know, people that know how, how to laughter. They do. So I had, I had great teachers. But um, so whenever I get to exercise that, oh, man, it was a dream. Was it was it, it was great a, working with Pete Siegel? Pete's a doll. I mean, Pete's lovely, and he's he doesn't let anything um, rile him. You know, he's 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 quite a just a lovely personality. He always has this really cool smile, and he's that was a lovely lovely bunch of people to deal with. Yeah, fantastic.